what's up guys Mark and Modest reaction here today I want to show you the ghost drone I finally figure out how to get this thing paired up to the ghost I have been struggling for a while it doesn't seem to want to pair up with this new uh, ghost app update so I actually found a quick workaround for this you will have to go on to eHang's website and download APK the Chinese version of the app okay so it pretty much is Chinese and if you can't read Chinese don't worry I can kind of give you a quick idea so it says basically it's like hey do you want to download a voice thing you say right this button means no okay no all right whatevs and then basically what I did is now you turn on this thing and it's like all right connected successfully so what you do is you go ahead and come here into settings and you notice these weren't really available in the in, in the in the US app. So what you do is you come here, you press this. This means settings, okay? And you repair it, it with your drone. So what you do is you press this and it says, "All right, I'm waiting." Okay, so this means that is is saying that hey, pairing has started. Please connect the drone battery. And this means cancel, so don't hit that. And what you do is now you come here and you plug in the battery. One, two, three, go. And look, this immediately tells you, cool, it's paired up. So, if you look at a US app, uh, there's some translation problem there. So, this means that, hey, does it have a protective, uh, the, the blade protector? This means, no, it does not have the blade protector. And this means, does it actually have uh, the, the gimbal? So if you have a blade protector, you can't use the gimbal. But if you don't have a blade protector, you can use the gimbal. On there it says, do you have prop and no prop? That is not right, it should be a prop guard. So just a quick translation issue. So you hit that and you're okay. So now this is pretty much ready to go. As you can see, it's starting to find um, uh, satellites. And it tells you how much battery it has, but it's all in Chinese. So, what you do now is you come here and you quit the uh, the app, okay? And then you open up the US application here, and this will allow you to finish up the successful pairing. Cool. Now you see successful. You see what I mean? Prop? No prop? What the heck is that supposed to mean? It's supposed to say prop card. So anyhow, so we click OK. So now I'm actually in a like a Best Buy, Toys R Us, Baby R Us parking lot. And it's working. Check this out. Easiest way to shove the battery in is once you plug it in, you shove this lead in first, like this. And it's not that easy, even though I said it's easy. Or uh, so you shove it in like this, and then you close it. Easy. Okay. So if I do this, watch. Awesome. So now we can actually have full gimbal control. Bring it back to the middle. Now I'm gonna bring it to the right like this. See that? Awesome, awesomeness. So bring it back to the middle, bring it, tilt it down a little bit. So yeah, let's go ahead and fly this thing. Okay, so we just reset. I think it's finally ready this time. <laughs> so unlock, you start seeing that thing start spinning. Here it goes. Go. <laughs> So we now can get it to go forward. So we're testing the follow me mode right now. And uh So the cool thing is, it kind of shows you where you went on the follow me mode. So you can kind of see a waypoint. That's pretty awesome. So, so far so good. So this turns it like this. As you can see, you can actually see it doing that on the map. And you turn it the other way around like this. It's facing this way. It's gonna have it come here. This target, it requires 10 meters high. So let's bring it up to 10 meters. I'm at 14 meters now. It should work. So come over here. And it's going, look. Now 
Now I'm gonna tell him to come back. Come back home. So far, so good. Uh, I'm going so far. Oh shit, there's a pole. Oh! I'm gonna land it. Look, watch. Land. It's gonna land itself. Wow, this thing is awesome! <laughs> so yeah, modest reaction here, and uh, finally successful flying. And uh, it looks, it, look, it looks like it's uh, really stable. No crash on the app yet. And uh, yeah, look at the waypoints. So I've been kind of running up and down, as you can see, and uh, it's actually really cool. But it's really dorsal is really slow. Flying characteristic uh, is mainly for filming, really. Uh, very fun, though. awesome. So here's a ghost drone, first review from Monus Reaction. And uh, I'm coming up with a new channel called ghostflyer.com as well as the website ghostflyer.com. Uh, stay tuned to that. And uh, yeah, if you guys like my video, like the workaround on how to fix the pairing problem, um, feel free to subscribe to Monus Reaction, my YouTube channel as well as ghostflyer.com, which is also my brand new channel. And I'll be doing a lot more uh, quadcopters, multi-copters, anything that goes fast and fun. Uh, I'll be filming there and making cool little videos as well. So, yeah, this is Mark, Modest Reaction. Peace.